fasting. Like, no food, a little bit of food. What kind of food are we talking here? Like, no food. Like, nothing. Huh. Alright, so the first time I heard about intermittent fasting, I was probably a lot like you. I thought there was absolutely no way. Going without food, not getting your body nutrients, not eating every two hours is good for your body. I mean, that's what everybody says, right? You gotta keep your metabolism high, you gotta eat every two to three hours, and that's how your body maintains a healthy state. And possibly that could be because I was 50 pounds heavier than I am now, so that might be why I had such a strong attachment to food. But turns out, the first time I heard about intermittent fasting, I started seeing the results in other people. I said, there's gotta be something to this because people are having more energy, they're losing weight, they're shedding fat, but also keeping the muscle, which is really interesting. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But there's some really profound benefits that people are experiencing with intermittent fasting. So I said to myself, I gotta figure out what this is all about and I gotta actually try it for myself. So now, fast forward, I've actually been intermittent fasting for about a year and a half now. Absolutely love it. There's no other way I'd rather do it. And I wanna share with you my top six benefits of intermittent fasting in particular for your brain. Now, when we're talking the benefits of intermittent fasting for your body, we have to lead off with one that I think is worth the cost of admission by itself, and that is reduced inflammation. Now, we know that inflammation is the root of a lot of chronic diseases that we're experiencing in our day and age, but as we've talked about on the podcast, many of our blog posts, and on previous videos, the brain is extremely sensitive to inflammation, and the more inflammation you have, the less brain function you can expect. Now, intermittent fasting has been shown far and away to be a major contributor to reducing overall inflammation through the body, and there's a couple of different ways that this happens, and one of the first ones is through something called autophagy. Now, autophagy is your body's ability to program a cell to actually destroy itself. Now, I know that doesn't sound like it should be a great thing, but it actually is. It's actually the body's way of cleansing itself, out with the old, and keep the new, healthy, fully functioning cells in place. So it really has a lot of anti-aging benefits with it and longevity benefits. And so this is one of the major contributors to that. Now, autophagy has been shown to actually take those old damaged cells. So if you can imagine, you got seven trillion cells in your body, they have a specific lifespan, and if maybe they make it all the way through, great, but most of the time they get damaged or sick along the way, and that can create a lot of chronic inflammation throughout the body if they're allowed to stay there. So what intermittent fasting does is it actually stimulates healthy autophagy in the body and helps your body clean out those old damaged cells so that your body can stay youthful, vibrant, and full of energy. Now, one of the other interesting ways that the body actually uses intermittent fasting to reduce inflammation is through ketones. Now, as you go through fasting, after 8 to 12 hours, your body will actually burn through all of its sugar stores. Now, typically that would be a bad thing, but now we've discovered that the body will actually turn from sugar as fuel to fat. So now it'll start breaking down fat in your body, which is what helps with a lot of the fat loss and weight loss. It'll actually break down that fat to produce an energy source called ketones. And ketones can actually be used by the brain, by the body, for fuel, for energy. And they've actually been shown to be a much more efficient use of energy is actually ketones. But one of the interesting things that I've learned along this journey is actually that ketones, and specifically one called beta-hydroxybutyrate, don't need to remember that one, but all you need to know is that beta-hydroxybutyrate has actually been shown to suppress areas of the immune system that are linked to a lot of inflammatory diseases like diabetes and even Alzheimer's. Now, the last way that intermittent fasting helps with inflammation is it actually helps with insulin resistance. Now, insulin resistance is where you've just had this overabundance of glucose and insulin in your body that now your body just isn't using it as effectively. It almost gets callous to it. It's not using it as well as it should. And so what happens now is glucose and insulin start to build up in the blood, and that creates tons of inflammation throughout the body. And what happens with fasting, kind of like we talked about before, is now you're going to burn through all your glucose. Your body's not going to need to make insulin to take that glucose out to bring it into your cells. So it actually kind of gives your body a little bit of a break, gives your body time to resensitize the insulin again. So that way when sugar comes back into the mix or carbohydrates come back into the mix, your body's going to be more efficient at using that, and that's going to help reduce overall inflammation throughout your body. Now my second favorite benefit of intermittent fasting for your brain is that it actually stimulates neurogenesis. Now neurogenesis is your brain's ability to produce new brain cells. And considering you start off with, in your life with probably a trillion brain cells, as you go through there's something called cognitive decline where your brain's continually losing these brain cells, continually pruning off 
these brain cells, and that's thought to be a reason of a lot of cognitive decline as people age. But neurogenesis is now being seen as this new way to actually provide anti-aging benefits for your brain. So if you can continually produce new brain cells, you're gonna really help mitigate a lot of those effects of the cognitive decline. So intermittent fasting has been shown, thanks to Dr. Mark Madsen at the University of John Hopkins, that it can actually stimulate neurogenesis in the brain. There was one interesting study done where they put mice on a 16-8 schedule, meaning they were fasting for 16 hours, eating within an eight hour window, which is a typical intermittent fasting schedule. And they found significant production of new brain cells during that fasting schedule. Now the third major benefit of intermittent fasting for your brain comes in the fact that intermittent fasting actually boosts the rate of BDNF being produced in the body. Now BDNF stands for brain derived neutrophic factor. And BDNF has actually been coined as miracle grow for your brain. So you can see how beneficial it is because what actually happens is BDNF will promote production of new brain cells. It'll actually preserve the production of new brain cells. So it actually helps provide a neuroprotective effect for the body. And third is it actually promotes creation of new synapses and new connections within the brain. So BDNF has actually been shown to play a major role in neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to change itself, which is a really important healthy function of the brain. And also BDNF has been shown to improve learning, improve memory, and boost mood. So really amazing benefits come from that BDNF being produced. And intermittent fasting, get this, intermittent fasting has been shown to boost BDNF production by as much as 50 to even 400%. So the fourth benefit of intermittent fasting for your brain is actually something that we've kind of touched on earlier, but it's the fact that your brain can now use fat instead of sugar for fuel. Now, as we talked about before, as you go through intermittent fasting, your body's going to burn through all of its glucose and sugar and start using fat for fuel, primarily in ketones. And ketones have been shown to be a more efficient energy source, which means actually when you burn or you break down a molecule of sugar, you're going to get roughly this amount of energy units per little block of carbohydrate or sugar. But what happens is when you use fat for fuel, you actually get more per block than you do with sugar. So it's a more efficient energy source. But also on top of that, fat or ketones has actually been shown to provide less free radical damage afterwards. So as your mitochondria start breaking down sugar or fat for fuel, sugar has actually been shown to actually produce more inflammation, more free radicals from that production, whereas fat has been shown to be a cleaner source of energy produces less inflammation but also provides more energy. Who doesn't want that? So when we're talking about brain function, ketones is gonna be where it's at, fat is gonna be where it's at because it's gonna be a cleaner, more efficient use of energy for your brain. Now, thanks to intermittent fasting, your fifth benefit is gonna be increasing the production of HGH in your body. Now, I know as soon as I said HGH or human growth hormone, you're probably thinking of this huge bodybuilder that's injecting synthetic HGH into his body to produce substantial muscle mass. But that's the problem is it's from the outside in, it's the synthetic, it's not gonna provide the same benefits as it would if your body naturally produces it at healthy levels. So what's really interesting is that when you look at HGH that's produced naturally within the body, it actually provides substantial anti-aging longevity benefits. So this is the main reason why when people are intermittent fasting and they're not getting substantial amount of nutrients and protein as you would think they would, you would think they would lose muscle, but actually they don't because HGH helps preserve the muscle so that way you're only burning fat for fuel. I mean, how cool is that? But also HGH is shown to help improve cognition. But on top of that, in one study it showed to provide a neuroprotective effect during stress, which makes your brain more resilient to stress and also helps boost neurogenesis. So now, on top of that preservation resiliency, you're gonna get more brain cells getting added to the mix, which is incredibly beneficial. So HGH produced naturally through intermittent fasting can help you boost your brain power, but also at the same time provide anti-aging longevity benefits and make your body more resilient to stress for the lifetime. And my sixth and final benefit for you that I think is one of the most profound benefits of intermittent fasting is that it actually stimulates your brain to get more batteries. Now what I mean by that is intermittent fasting stimulates what we call mitochondrial biogenesis. So basically it creates more mitochondria for your cells. And if you haven't heard of mitochondria before, mitochondria are basically the battery sources within your cells. So what happens is by intermittent fasting, you're gonna increase the amount of mitochondria or batteries that you have within your cells, which means you're gonna get more brain power. It's as simple as that. So intermittent fasting can naturally boost your brain power in a way that's very substantial and many people notice, especially during that fasting state where you're then using ketones, substantial cognitive benefits thanks to intermittent fasting. 
So yeah, there's tons of benefits for intermittent fasting for your brain. I probably didn't even mention them all. There's tons of other benefits for your body and for your health that I didn't mention in this video. You can actually find more of those on the neurolifestyle.com. We'll have more resources there for you guys to check out. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.